Last week, I had the pleasure of chatting with Professor Rohan Gunaratna, a world-renowned terrorism expert who recently released a book titled Sri Lanka's Easter Sunday Massacre, Lessons for the International Community. I also sat down with him for an episode of Get Real, which will air this Tuesday. Um, that is, you really have to watch that one because he says some really good points about our country and our security. Now, in this book, he details how the environment was masterfully calculated and more important, covertly altered by the very people who wanted Sri Lanka to be on the brink of discord and disruption. Mind you, it was 10 years down the line since we won the war. We had peace for 10 years. We were able to focus on other things like the economy, development, foreign policy and trade. And well, for the Colombo liberal idiot class, going after the Rajpaksas, feasting on their flesh, putting them in jail, brewing Rajpaksa tea so that they can feel their angry lives calmed. All that. But that peace was not right for the overlords of this nation. That peace was stepping on many people's toes. Sri Lanka was becoming more independent. Its people started thinking along the lines of being a Sri Lankan and not the way the West told us how to think. And that needs to end immediately. Professor Rohan Gunaratna brilliantly displays that to create life-altering chaos, you must first dismantle the security space. And they did just that. In 2015, in the wake of the Yahapalne government, anything nationalistic or patriotic was considered absolutely bad. Security was put on the back burner, national interests were laughed at and scoffed upon. All foreign agendas that never would have seen the light of day came to light. And Sri Lanka was systematically being weakened from within, which led to such a calculated pre-planned atrocity like the Easter Sunday massacre which resulted in 275 innocent Sri Lankans paying the price. Who led the way back in 2015 to dismantle Sri Lanka? Well, it's the usual NGO brigade, the human rights jokers, and of course, the West slaving economic minds along with their unthink tanks. And the discord political parties who knew they would never garner power through a democratic manner. It took some time for the people to wake up. They woke up in 2019. Unfortunately, the horse we all bet on in 2019 was proven to be a dud. Nangi Pendala Akkaduna scenario. Because we thought we were getting the lion spirited defense secretary as our president. But later we realized that instant we got a lion carcass for the president. The lion was dead, long time. Just think for a moment, history is repeating. Everything that is happening right now in terms of our economy, politics and uh, social circles after the whole unrest of last year is dismantling the ideology of what it means to be a Sri Lankan and done once again systematically. Now with the unrest of last year, it's basically a repeat of 2015 regime change operation. This time they went back to the drawing board and meticulously planned again how to hammer those very same things they did hammer back in 2015. Nationalism, Sri Lankan ideology and more importantly Sri Lankan values along with our security. But this time they wanted it gone for good. Again the usual NGO brigade, the human rights jokers along with their fake journalists who are really discord activists, social media goons, those West slaving economic minds and their unthink tanks and of course those discord political parties once again took the forefront to create the chaos and pave the way for those disrupting agendas led by the overlords to once again set itself nice and cozy in this nation of ours. But who are these overlords Mahesh? Just look around, just look as to who our government is bowing down to on a daily basis. This time they managed to get the very people who stood against them back in 2009 and 2019. I honestly wonder how long it will take this time for the Sri Lankan people to wake up and realize that smell is in the coffee. It's the burnt aspirations of an independent Sri Lanka. We'll be right back.